Chairman, Governing Council of Lado Gakitola University, Lao Tech, Professor Ayo Dejio Mole, has declared that terrorism, bandage, and kidnapping are threatening forestry practice in the country. The Professor of Forest Engineering lamented the forestry practice in Algeria has recently become endangered due to widespread incidents of attacks, killings, rapes, and kidnappings, for ransom by harmed men. Big Down, while speaking on the topic entitled Working in the Shadows of Death, maintained that the challenge of insecurity in forest estates is perhaps the major problem facing the sector. Amoli made this declaration while delivering the 561st inaugural lecture of the University of Ibadan. While addressing the gathering, Amoli noted that it is pathetic that the military formations seem helpless in effectively tackling and eradicating this particular monstrous challenge. The amazing aspect of this security challenge is that bandits or no government or insurgents are majorly occupying many of our national forests in all parts of Nigeria. From Sambisa Forest in Bonu State to many forests in southwestern part of Nigeria, or your Oshu Ebiti, on those states in particular, while Lagos and Ubu are not removed. Forests in the South East and South South are not by any means equally exempted from the activities of these criminals. While decrying the neglect of education by successive governments using a forest site engineer as illustration, he described the public universities as already working in the shadows of death. He maintained our university system has been captured and held hostage by many government policies, especially since the advent of the civil rule. The former RC chairman stated that unless something urgent is done to stop government attacks on Nigeria's educational system, the system will die faster than anticipated. Just like a typical forest engineer working in the shadows of death, Nigerian university systems are already working in the shadows of death. Universities are supposed to be the training ground for producing critics and serve as watchdog of the society. Academies by training and tradition are critics. 